Hello, Tipro. and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Almedril. In this, in this video, I have this old Dell Inspiron B130 from 2006, almost 20 years ago, and we're going to update the BIOS, or at least we're going to try. I'm going to show you around how this looks. So these are the speakers. It's very thick, as you can see, the CD DVD reader. You can see the power connector. You can see the uh, Ethernet adapter, and this one has a dial-up connection also. So the VGA cable for an extra monitor, and you have this USB. Also this expansion card for Dell. Then at, uh, we are going to open it and see how it looks. So as you can see, this is the keyboard, and this one uh, comes with Windows XP, but it can support up to Windows Vista. So what a deal back then. So this is the keyboard. You can see the model there, Inspiron, Inspiron B130. Now uh, allow me a few seconds to connect the power, and we're going to turn it on, and we're going to access the BIOS because we need to know what BIOS version it has and the serial number or service stack for Dell. So I'm going to press the power button, as you can see me doing here, and here I'm going to start pressing F2, but this model, since it's very old, it has uh, some issues. So you can see the BIOS version, so A08. So that's something that we now have. And this is the message, right? Time of the day not set. Please run setup program. Strike F1 to continue or F2 to access the, the setup utility. So we're going to go to F2, something we were pressing anyway, but it was not working. And here we are in the BIOS, classic blue screen BIOS. All the school. So system information, you can see the BIOS is 808 that came out in 2006. The service tag below is the one we also uh, we also need to take a picture, write it down or something. OK, so I'm going to take a picture of that. So the processor information, you can see it over here. And then we're going to go to the memory. So this one is DDR2, really old, 400 megabytes and 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. OK, so we go to battery. This one, as you can ex uh, as expected, is dead because it's a, a laptop from almost 20 years ago as of the making of this video. So it's dead, right? We don't have anything else to do here. I'm going to shut it down, as you see me doing over here. So now you can do what I'm going to do on the same machine, but it's very old Windows XP and all that. So I have this other machine ready, which is Windows 10. It can be anything, Windows 11, Windows 8. doesn't make a difference. So from here, I'm going to open a web browser. In my case, it's going to be Google Chrome. And we go to Dell.com, as you can see at the top. So depending when you visit the site, this is going to look different. From here, we go to Support one of the tabs and here we have two options support service and warranty or drivers and downloads i'm going to select the first one but both are going to or should take you to the same place so here we scroll down a little and read article we didn't have this in the past but this is a new addition for dell and here we're going to tap the service tag for your model as you can see there is a picture of mine on the right so i'm going to type it and this should give you all the drivers. But we have an error for this specific machine. There is no match for this service tag. So if this happens to you, that's, I would say, I, I wouldn't say it is normal, but that happened to me with new machines. So if this is happening to you, you go to, we are going to open a new Google tab and we are going to search for something. If this works for you, while well, you continue and you are going to see all that you need. So here in Google, we're going to type Dell Inspiron B130 drivers. You can replace it by the model that you have if you don't have the same one and drivers and enter. So the first few results are going to be the ones that we need. So we're going to click on the first one over here because it says Dell.com, and you're going to see something like this, Inspiron B130. So if the serial number work for you, you're going to see something similar to this, and the process from here on is going to be the same. So if you scroll down, you're going to see all the drivers that you need for this model, all of them, okay? So in our case, we want to update the BIOS. So we're going to uh, type BIOS here in the keyword, and it's going to filter out by BIOS. As you can see, you can also click on the, on the glass over there, and here you can see that there is a match. So BIOS version A10 that came out in 2007. OK, so that's a better version for the BIOS, right? So you can expand this and you can see more details like the version A10. The name of the file is an exe and um, the size 600 kilobytes, right? Really small. So you have to download it over here. I already have it in my in my desktop over here like that. You can see the file. 
Next, we are going to also need a USB flash drive. You can see mine there. Mine is eight gigabytes. Yours can be two, four, eight. Doesn't make a difference. Uh, there is one caveat though. This USB has to be bootable. So I have done a video in the past on which I show how to do that using free tools. You can click on the top right of the screen for that video. Or if you know how to do it, you can test it as well. The point is that it has to be bootable. Once it is bootable, you have to connect it to the, to the computer. And I'm going, it's, going to, it's going to show like this, but I'm going to show you one more time. Let's go to this PC. This is my bootable USB flash drive. You click on that and you are going to see three files. Those three files I've created by default. That's what makes it bootable. You don't, you don't touch them. And next we're going to just copy paste the uh, BIOS update, just like that. After that, we don't have much to do on this machine. We are going to remove the USB flash drive, as you can see over there. And this machine, the Windows 10, we don't really need it anymore. Now, let's go back to the uh, Dell laptop, as you can see over here. So I'm going to connect it to any available USB port like that. And now I'm going to turn it on. And now that I'm turning it on, I'm going to press F12 to go to the boot menu. OK, so this is very common for Dell machines. After a few seconds, it's going to show us this menu. And as you can see, the one, as you can imagine, the one we're interested in is USB storage device. So you're going to press enter on that and it's going to show you this uh, command line. OK, so here, this is normal. You have to type dir. So we're going to see all the files on this directory. And this is, uh, this is as you can see, this is the exe file, the BIOS update. And now we have to type the name of this file. So you can press tab to complete that exe and, and I'm going to press enter. So it's going to load this. You can read flash BIOS update program, press any key to continue. OK, so we press enter over here and then it's going to show us this other message that says about to, re to replace Dell system BIOS, press Y to replace A. 08 BIOS with A10 and you press enter but we have an error battery must be installed and as you know the battery on this machine is dead because it's almost 20 years old so it's not working so we're going to press enter and we're going to be back here we do the same dear we type the name of the exe but now we're going to type one more thing forward forward slash force it and now we're going to press enter it's going to show us the same. We press enter and here we type Y and this time is working. OK, so that's what we needed. So the process is kind of quick. The video sped up here. It took around three minutes or so, uh, but it's not much information anyway. So after that, it's going to reboot by itself, like as you can see in the on the video. And now we are going to press F2 after the reboot to access the BIOS. Once in the BIOS, we can see system information BIOS version 810 that came out in 2006. I don't know why it says that in, uh, on the Dell website. We read that it came out in 2007. I don't know why that happened, but the version is 810 and this is the flash drive. We don't need it anymore. Now we're going to press escape and exit because we don't have anything else to do. And Windows XP is starting. So that's how you upgrade the BIOS version on a machine that is almost 20 years old, maybe more, depending when you're watching this video. So if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If, if you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.